Hello and welcome to the 18th PHP tutorial. Uh, in the last tutorial I showed you guys how to make this submission box where you could submit text and then it would put us the text up here and then we just said submitted text and then we just put it again down here. Now what we're going to say is um, change text really over time. But I kind of left you guys last time on a bit of a cliffhanger, which was me telling you that um, not to leave this up on your site because um, I had a caveat, and that caveat is a security risk. Um, so to show you an example of how this can be uh, exploited is you could put um, what's happening is you know in this text box we're just echoing this text box so. You can put code into this text box. So, for example, we could echo strong, strong, and hello there. Submit, and it actually echoes the um, the HTML, the processed HTML. Now, this seems uh, you know somewhat benign, but you can start to do other things. Like, for example, um, I'm not going to show you too much, but you can start using iframe. And what iframe is going to do is pull up, um, let me just show you. Let's do iframe source equals uh, hkinsley.com uh, and we'll come over here and close off the iframe. So uh, we'll submit that and we'll wait a moment as it visits. And as you can see, we've generated a frame that is my website, right? This is my WordPress website. Now, of course, this is again still, you know, somewhat benign, um, but it can go downhill pretty quick. So, uh, how do we protect against this? Well, the uh, popular thing around town uh, is the following, and it's called HTML entities. So, let me show you that first. So what you can do is in the post, um, so that we you know we saved this and we didn't really do anything to it. But what you want to do before you start you know outputting this and actually doing anything with it, cause right now we're just saying if if they posted something right, and you still didn't really save anything like initially before we define this stuff, it didn't do anything. But now we're going to start doing stuff once we define a variable and assign something to it. So here, uh, what most people will tell you you need to do is use HTML entities. And in case um, this within HTML entities. So now when we save this, and let me re upload to the server, and we come over here, and let me just open up a new tab real quick. And now we revisit uh, this page. And now let's just try to put in um, strong hello and strong um, and submit that. Now it's, it reads um, exactly what was typed in, right? Instead of actually processing it, it what it ends up doing is taking uh, code that looks like HTML, or is HTML, right? Um, like various tags and stuff, and it just converts it um, into string data. So that's pretty good, right? That's going to protect you against um, somebody who's going to use iframes, theoretically. But is that totally protective? So again, I suggest that you don't just run off. I think that you might want to check the next video. Man, I'm a jerk.